across here. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? southern tip of Attacos, a small island out in the middle of the Ionian area they call the Inland Sea. Uh, ahead of us is part of the Greek mainland with a couple four islands and behind us is the island of Ithaca over in the distance. Um, and my happy skipper. So this uh, island is pretty small. It's incredibly deep all the way around here. So this thing just shoots up out of nowhere. Um, the rocks are pretty amazing. This, the geology around here has been terrific. So we hope to see a little bit more of this as we go around the corner and hopefully spend the night here. So we're sailing, although the jib is luffing. Not my fault. There we go. A little better. Okay. Sailing along. We hit nine knots a minute ago screaming across here. It's about um, about a 15 knot wind with gusts up over 20. So uh, pretty nice day. Lots of white caps out there. We are enjoying life in Greece. And we're making water. That's right. Tom got the water maker working yesterday. And now we are underway in this crystal blue water. Converting some of it into non-salt water so we can drink it. Thanks, Skipper. So here's two sailboats, at least um, the two that we can see right now, tucked into this bay. Pretty amazing. They must have a beautiful view of those cliffs behind them. drive through there tomorrow morning because it looks like the rocks are just pretty crazy to, to look at. That is, look at that back there. There's three masts in there. I think there's three tied together. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, oh they're very close. One is a catamaran too. So somehow they got their sail twisted around. Um, it's never fun to have this happen. It can rip a sail. But, yeah. Yeah, they have their sail, one twisted on top of the other, and it just makes a very big problem. Um, hard to get it undone in the wind. Theater. We are anchored off the island of Atticos. We are tied with two stern lines over here to this wall, this rock wall, the side of the bay. We anchored here earlier and uh, were not able to get into the wall. There were too many boats on it. And then lots of boats came in and dove on their anchor and it seemed like everybody was going to be all happy-go-lucky and then two boats came in late and they're sort of the ones right up here one has uh, navigation lights on still um, that guy and then that guy and they um, that one especially they're the smaller boat I think it's a charter and they I don't know how many times they tried to anchor Luckily, somebody from another boat got on with them and actually helped them anchor, which was, I thought was very kind um, and patient. And uh, they were just right around us so much. We were right over there, so we decided to bail. Lo and behold, there 
there's one house. There's a little church, and I'm wondering if there's some kind of service going on. Um, you can see with the flags, pretty cool. They were ringing their um, their bells earlier. I'm not really sure why, um, but there might be something going on. I have to figure that out. There is a family over here that is reminding us of when we lived aboard with our two kids. They have three. It looks like twins and um, a younger one. So this is a pretty cool cove here on the island of Attacos. Uh, really out in the middle of the Greek Inland Sea. It's inside of Ithaca and Cephalonica, Lovkus. Took off for the day, Tom went on a morning paddleboard ride. This is actually what I was talking about with the sedimentary layers. If you look closely, you can see little dots in that very whitish um, color rock. And those are stones, um, rounded stones that are set into that and fused into the rock. And then you can see this layer up here, it's a darker kind of brownish orange color. But this white looks like it's the stuff that picked up a lot of those stones in a sedimentary fashion. After checking out of Cliff Bay, we made our way toward Ithaca and the well-known harbor of Keone on the northeast side. All the information we had read led us to believe this was a popular destination, so we targeted our arrival for a little after lunchtime. As we arrived, we saw several boats motoring away from the harbor. There would be room for us on the southern edge of the waterfront. We eyed a spot, then dropped our anchor a good distance from where we hoped to secure ourselves as we backed down toward the rocky shoreline. I was paying out anchor chain while guiding the boat in reverse. Tom was preparing our two stern lines to take them in the dinghy and tie us off to shore. He first secured one line to our starboard aft cleat, and when he got the shore side end secured, I took up the slack in the boat. Once this was tight, we worked together to secure the port side stern line the same way. When all the boats who would spend the night were tucked in, this is the spaghetti mess of our crisscross lines. Let's hope we don't have high winds overnight. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired We had dinner at one of the many places along the waterfront. Our table had a terrific view of the harbor and of the continually arriving boats who somehow found spots where none appeared to exist. I just miss you I just miss you mm -hmm. We were such a constellation right No you to agree Made a reputation for ourselves The harbor lights at night were pretty special We had the devil on our shoulders what we should do I wonder if you think about me too I can Tom caught a beautiful sunrise to start our next day. This is the town of Bathy on the island of Ithaca and behind Karen there at the helm there's like a squarish island in the middle of the bay. Pretty neat. And 
they have some a key over here on the western side you can go stern to and some spots for some super yachts and this is kind of like the downtown area of Bath East for here lots of tavernas we're not sure if we're gonna stay here tonight um, we didn't spend the night in Bathy. Instead, we settled into a cove a little further south called Filiatro. A bunch of super yachts were tied stern to at the back of the cove, so we tucked in to the northern side of the cove, also going stern to. With so many boats coming and going all day, the water wasn't very clear for snorkeling, but we got in a couple nice shots, and we enjoyed ourselves regardless. time like this uh, it's about an hour and a half after sunrise the um, the water is really really clear here before it gets all disturbed with boats going by and all that kind of stuff so you can see where all these rocks fell off of that cliff up there and then you can clearly see them all scattered in the water below so this is probably four meters four or five meters deep easily see right down to the bottom. It's really great. In a little while the wind will come up and uh, you won't be able to see quite as clearly plus just a lot of boat activity. Um, the boat's driving by and stirring up the water and it makes it harder to see the bottom. But it's really great in the morning like this. You get great visibility. We're in a place called Ficarado. Something like that. <laughs> All right, we say goodbye to Filiatro. Uh, we had a nice overnight stay there. Big super yacht came in this morning, squeezed in a bunch of other, other boats. I did a run this morning up on the hillside up here and there's sort of like a retreat slash kind of commune up there. You can kind of see a, sort of a yurt up on the hill there, a bunch of random sort of buildings of various quality and construction, some of the plywood shack and others that were, uh, you know, brick and concrete and that kind of thing, but very primitive, still a nice view. So there's lots and lots of great geological features here you can see this like smooth uh, layers of rock just going right down the water we've seen a lot of those and this you know this very possibly could have been a cave at one point that collapsed um, we've seen a lot of deep caves that go in and you know there are different stages of of transformation and at some point they're going to collapse in that's kind of what that could have been there we are saying goodbye to the Ionian Islands and uh, heading out to the Gulf of Patras and Gulf of Corinth on our way to the Corinth Canal. So we're moving from Western Greece to Eastern Greece and uh, back to our roots. 20, 27, years, 27 ago. years ago, I had to do a little math there, um, where we did our honeymoon. So do you have any impressions of, of the Ionian Islands? I think they're greener than we're going to see when we get over into the Kakladi Islands. Um, they've been great. Uh, I didn't have high expectations for Ithaca because the book played it down a little bit, but um, I, the two anchorages and the other villages we went through have been beautiful and the rock structures all around are, are terrific. So I'm in. I love it. I agree with Karen. I think it was a surprise. We didn't really expect too much the Ionian Islands, the other islands, the eastern part of Greece, the Kaklades and that whole area, Mykonos and Santorini get so much attention and advertising that you kind of, that's when you picture of Greece. But this is really pleasant, a um, week and a half we've been here, I'll be coming down from Corfu. Got a 
little bit of weight here. And, um, whoa. <laughs> so, um, I would definitely come back here, whether it's like on a charter boat or um, on a private boat. Definitely a lot of good exploring around here. A lot of uh, places you can tuck into in islands, little coves. Even though it's the middle of August and it would be, it is pretty crowded, um, there's plenty of places you can get into. And if one harbor is uh, full, you can go just down a mile or two down and find another spot. So, we'll be goodbye to the Ionian Islands. And off in the hazy distance is the Gulf of Patras. And then that narrows in to the Gulf of Corinth. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notified of new videos. Join us next time as we finish our crossing of the Gulf of Patras, cross the Gulf of Corinth, then transit the Corinth Canal.